Hello, this is Jen Jeft here, and after like a decade, I am kind of in a way returning to Minecraft. Mostly because of a certain thing, and I wanted to explore this, and why do I not have much light in here? I'll fix that later on. I want to explore immersive engineering, logic units, and these logic circuits. So, I've already made a small one to figure out how this kind of works. And this is controlling a substation. If I come over here, I can hit levers. I don't know why this substation is currently the way it is right now, so we'll hit yeah. that. And now, that has an out, so that light turns on. Yeah. And we hit it again, light shuts off. Yeah. And I can hit this to make it... Um, yeah. Yeah. That's line three. So there's a status board here that tells us what's going on, so line 3 is currently in. If I hit this switch and then that one, it switches from in to out. If I hit both, it shuts both off, preventing a um, lag-inducing loop. And that is controlled via the circuit boards over in this logic circuit for immersive engineering. And from there, it powers my entire base. with these high tension power lines from immersive engineering. The substation is over here. <laughs> this absolute nightmare of a substation is controlled by the logic boards at my base. It's uh, way over there, 231 meters over there. Uh, those things there are stuff I haven't hooked up yet to tell me the levels of the battery packs in each substation. But that's all controlled by the logic circuits over there, and also has its corresponding control board here with line 3, line 2, and line 1. And you can see the settings in line 1 and 2, so we switch this around. And then the indicator board, status board over here changes, changes to reflect the changes over from these switches. Very simple. Not really. This was a nightmare to set up, but I'm going to do a series of tutorials on using these logic circuits in immersive engineering. But it's, all, it's not only just going to be Minecraft. It's also going to involve another game called Turing Complete, where in this game your objective is to make a fully working computer. And... Yes, I'm a glutton for self-punishment, apparently. So I'm going to go to Schematic Hub real quick. And we're going to go to my components. Uh, we're going to go to Sandbox, apparently. And then we're going to do, 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 switch Schematic. And cry. Because my schematic's gone. Oh, balls. Okay, we can fix this. Fixed. Really, it was just a different spot in the program because I keep updating this and it changes a lot. So yeah, I'm going to cause myself even more problems. Basically, what the problem was is um, I had to set up a way that I could turn the substation lines on and off without getting it so they would cross with the input and output causing a lag-inducing server issue. And this is what I came up with. I designed it in Turing Complete, and then took the Turing Complete circuit and put it into Minecraft. So basically what this does is, this here is the master switch. Which, there is actually a master switch in the, in the system I designed in the Minecraft world too. So without this being on, nothing happens. So I hit this, nope, nothing changes at all. It just stays there. So you turn on the master switch, which allows everything else to work. It's a lockout. And then we set it up so now it's outputting power. Now it's inputting power into the grid. But again, can't have both active at the same time on the same line or else you have this power loop or power that's going out of the system coming back into the system from the same system, which causes an infinite looping error with the computer and induces server lag. So if I turn on the input, or the output, and the input on the same time, shuts off. So I design all the circuits using this. 
and then apply them in Minecraft. And my intention is to take the lessons learned from the main game of this, which is here, <laughs> where you're, um, you're doing basic logic down here. So we'll start with the basic logic down there and apply both of this in here, and then how it would look like in Minecraft using the immersive, the uh, logic circuits from immersive engineering, starting basic logic, going to arithmetic, going into CPU architecture with a working computer, programming, and then all the way up to as far as we can go before we start having to have a UI, although technically there is... There's open computers on the server, so I guess I could use open computers to program into a giant redstone computer, which would probably be entertaining and nightmare to do. We may not go that far. I don't know how far down this rabbit hole I'm going to go, but my idea is to make a computer programmed using redstone and immersive engineering logic circuits from, well, immersive engineering logic circuits, to make a fully computerized power grid controllable from a central control station. This is going to take me a while to do, so it's probably going to be like one episode a month as I figure some of this stuff out. Some will be faster, some will be slower, but yeah, we're going to be bouncing between Minecraft using the immersive engin engineering logic circuits and Turing Complete to get a better understanding of how the two work. Um, yeah. And here is the component factory. Um, each... Each one of those logic things in immersive engineering can have 10 different gates. So like this here, which I'm just gonna box really ugly here, has one, two, three, four, five gates in it. And then we have one, two, three, four, five gates here. So these two make up a single logic gate thing. So yeah, each one of these logic units can take 10 different logic circuits until they're full, which is nifty. Uh, where is the... Do, 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 do. Can I just click on this? No, I can't. And then each one of these things has 16 different colors in it. So we've got 16 channels in order to put instructions into these systems here from which to program and we design all the circuits in Turing Complete. Prepare for headaches because I know I'm going to get a few doing this. <laughs> so yeah. Hope you all guy you all kind of like this idea. I want I just noticed that there really isn't anything for immersive engineering logic units, and there's not a huge amount for Turing complete. And I'm gonna drive YouTube nuts because now I have not only instead of specializing in one game, which is what YouTube makes you want to do anyway, because that's how the way the algorithm works, I'm gonna be having a video series that is more than just one game. And in the videos, in themselves, are two games dealing with a very obscure topic of logic circuitry and computer circuitry. So this will be entertaining and um, difficult, and YouTube's not going to really like it at all, but there isn't anything for immersive engineering logic circuits and all this stuff, and there isn't really a heck of a lot for Turing Complete either to explain that. So I'm going to combine Turing Complete, Minecraft, Immersive Engineering Logic Circuits into one video series. And I expect to get lots of hate comments from it initially. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. Hello, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the bell icon and all that wonderful fun stuff, because subscribing to YouTube is no longer enough. Hit all the things, hit the like button, like the comments, comment multiple times, and don't forget to share, but subscribe and hit the bell. See you next time.
fight. I think our tank exploded. Whee! There it goes! The plane or our tank? The t well, there's a tank flying through the sky.